Dallas Cowboys face bold and false accusations after Jets' victory. In an exhilarating matchup on Sunday at MetLife Stadium, the New York Jets, led by their coach Robert Sala, secured a surprising 20-14 victory over the Philadelphia Eagles. Sala, naturally elated by his defense's performance, expressed his satisfaction, stating, as usual, outstanding. Throughout these first six weeks, we've faced a gauntlet of quarterbacks, and we've embarrassed all of them. Despite the Jets achieving a record of 3-3, a feat considering quarterback Aaron Rodgers' injury in Week 1, Salah has allowed his enthusiasm to lead to questionable claims about Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott. The list of quarterbacks the Jets have faced includes prominent names like Josh Allen, Matt Jones, Patrick Mahomes, Russell Wilson, Jalen Hurts, and Prescott. While Mahomes is recognized as one of the best, and Allen and Hurts boast impressive credentials, Salah hinted that his defense embarrassed all these quarterbacks, including Prescott. However, examining the showdown between the Cowboys and the Jets in Week 2 at AT&T Stadium, the facts tell a different story. Dallas secured a 30-10 victory, with Prescott completing 31 of 38 passes for 255 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions, and only one sack, achieving an impressive passer rating of 112.2. Embarrassed? It doesn't seem like anyone in silver and blue walked away embarrassed from that game. We're not trying to take away credit from Saleh's team, which also earned the Jets' first-ever win over the Eagles in franchise history after 12 attempts. Undoubtedly, Cowboys Nation enjoyed watching Salah walk away from the podium at the end of the post-game press conference, saying, they ain't 12-0 no more. It's a fact. And it's useful for the Cowboys. But did the Jets embarrass the Cowboys in any way? That is not a reality. What are your thoughts on these bold claims? Share your opinions in the comments and be part of this thrilling conversation.